That's uh, um, Richard and Diane Charlton with the uh, Bedford MW. This is a little 1500 weight uh, um, Bedford that was used uh, by the military. Ah, uh, yes, and this is number 11. This is done by Claude Cable from uh, Hemiok. 1942 Ford Jeep. This is. Uh, Jeeps were made by both Ford and Willand Company and Ford. And uh, incidentally, the way you can tell the difference between them, uh, because they, from a distance, they're identical. But if you can, watch a nice little uh, uh, Austin's white as well. Number three coming by, another of our Bedfords. And this is the Bedford MW, 1941, same age as me, owned by Peter Bold from Shepherd Manage. Peter's a regular at our shows here. Another vehicle done very nicely in RAF livery with the RAF uh, ensign flying from the radio. It's having a break from flying at the moment. Another Jeep, this one uh, with uh, American flags. And uh, this is number 10 in your program. Uh, another Ford Jeep, Ford GPW. Uh, number 16 coming by. And this is uh, 1943. Capable of having the panels taken off very easily because at the time the Western helicopter uh, the weight, I think I'm right to say, of the conventional. Uh, this is a sidecar combination. Uh, Eastern European, I would say, yes, um, a quarter ton trailer behind it there. Number five, back with our Land Rovers, another of our air portables. Um, this one owned by Jane Evans. And uh, it's got uh, the radio aerial on the front there. And the one... Well,
tell that the uh, the Killswitch wire, which they attacked the taxi tank pulling trucks from the sled with, got tangled up in the front of the sled to actually pull it. So uh, shut off the air supply, cut the fuel off, and Jeff came to a grinding halt. So we'll, we'll see him pass a little bit. Of course, being all transmission. Uh, it's about getting a few revs on and then knocking it into drive. Then flooring the pedal, getting it away. Got the grains. Come on in, power on. Not quite sure what size engine is under the bonnet, but it's a big one. Yeah. <laughs> 